guys have noticed that everything is quite different right now. White walls, big bed, and big cupboards. So obviously, yes, I am now in Italy and it has been amazing. Um, let me just fix my camera. Like I said, it's been amazing. I honestly, I'm still, you know, I still can't believe I'm here. Everything is just, just great. Totally just great. I love, 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 love Italy. And I can't believe it. I can't believe that I'm actually here. It's like the last thing I thought I was doing. The last thing, you ruined it. The last thing I was doing was vlogging, um, you know, the process on the wedding and the process on getting the visa and everything. And I can't believe I'm here. So if you guys are in the same boat as me, then I know that you guys will be able to do it as well. Um, you know, you just gotta pray and keep your fingers crossed, you know, that everything will work out just this fine. This video is mainly about how our trip was, okay? How we dealt with jet lag, how we dealt with the ride and everything. We left, we left the Philippines on Saturday. That was Saturday uh, evening, so our flight was at 9.45 p.m., okay? So we actually left our flat or our apartment around 5.30 p.m. We were kind of worried that, you know, it was raining really hard on Saturday. So we just wanted to make sure that we won't be, you know, stuck in traffic because our terminal was in Terminal 1, which most of you guys probably know that uh, that is the oldest airport. Okay, so we left 5.30 and then got there around probably 6, 6.15. So uh, we went through the check-in counter. Uh, it was actually, there was a really long line, okay, for the check-in, but it was fine. It was moving. And then, um, so they gave us, you know, a, I was really worried that we'd have excess baggage. But um, fortunately, we didn't. We we barely made it actually my my luggage was around 25 and my husband's was 26 and the uh the limit is actually 30 kilograms so that was really great we didn't have to pay any excess and then after that um i had to pay my travel tax so heads up travel tax is 1600 and something i don't quite remember if it's 70 or 50 so it's around 1600 so um if you're at terminal one it's actually on your right side as soon as you enter the airport it's on the right side now with travel travel tax there wasn't actually much people so just go directly to the counter and then they'll ask you they'll just ask you what um you know which country you're going to what's your destination and you just say Italy if you're going to Italy and then they'll ask you if you have the sojourno which is the permit to say and then of course if you don't then just say no and then uh, that's it so um one thing they did um actually the first thing I did was I went to the travel tax first before going to the check-in but then they told me to check in first because um the travel tax might be included in the ticket that we bought okay so if i were you uh do the check-in first just so that um to make sure that the travel tax is not included you don't want to you know pay double for that travel tax so after that um time for the immigration which was really scary <laughs> um i got all my documents from my husband because it was in his bag and the reason for that is because he was going to a different line than I. So um, he was going to the foreign passport section while I was going to the uh, Philippine passport. While you're in line at the check-in, uh, the people assisting with the Turkish airline will give you like a little form that you have to present at the immigration. So make sure you've already filled that up just so that, uh, you know, you won't have to go back and forth at the immigration if you forget to fill it up. It actually says about your, your details, your name, your destination, and the reason why you're going to your destination. So, of course, there was, um, what was it, vacation, there was, there was family and friends, there was work. So, of course, the reason that I put was uh, family. Um, because, of course, I'm going to be staying with my husband and my in-laws. So, um, as soon as I got into the immigration, there were actually people filling that same form. So, it would be good if you could fill that up right when you're at the, you know, in line at the check-in, just so that um, everything just goes smoothly. So, um, at the immigration, I fell in line and there was a, like a long line, of course. So, but there were like one, two, three, four, five, five lines, but they were quite long. So, you just got to wait for your turn. Um, and then when it was my turn, 
the immigration officer just uh, you know asked for the form so I handed it to her right away and I also handed her my passport and my boarding pass the only question that the immigration officer asked me was who are you going to visit uh, because I have a tourist visa who are you going to visit at in Italy so I said my husband and that was it no questions asked she didn't even ask for my marriage certificate she didn't even ask for anything and I was like okay I, I like prepared everything for you and you didn't ask for anything and then that's it she just stamped it with that date um, that I was departing the country and that's it I just went through and um, scanned my things and went straight to the gate fortunately it was easy as that okay because I know that there are some people like some people I know that um, you know who also went through the immigration to come here to Italy were asked more questions okay and it's not that because you know my husband was with me it's not that at all because we were on different lines you know the immigration officer did not know that I was with my husband and that I really do have an Italian uh, husband so it's not that um, I guess it's just luck I guess I, I'm not sure um, so some of the questions that were asked from the people I know were like they were asked for their marriage certificate they were asked more questions uh, why you're going there and how long and why you only have a one-way ticket but I mean you don't need to be scared when you're asked these questions because if you're not going there for you know illegal purposes then go ahead and just answer them you know Truthfully, you don't need to be scared though. You know, it's a little um, I was a little nervous, but I guess it's normal But just as long as you know, you're not doing anything bad Everything will work out. So after that, I just went to my gate um, to our gate and just waited for the boarding to begin which was around probably uh, What time was our flight 945 our boarding was around probably 8 probably 9 yeah, 9, 9 p.m. if I could remember that, yeah. Um, everything just went as smooth as I had hoped it would be. I'm not sure, I'm not sure why everything is just great ever since, you know, we planned our wedding. Everything has just gone really smooth for us and I'm very, very thankful for it. And I know it will work out for you guys as well. Our flight was around uh, 9.45, actually it was an hour delay because I, I'm not sure if maybe it was due to the weather because when we left it was a really crappy weather in the philippines left at around 10 30. what did we do the whole ride so the whole ride was actually 12 hours so our flight was um from manila to istanbul turkey and then turkey to naples which is where we live right now so what did we do the whole ride so my husband he watched movies me i slept <laughs> i slept because Left at night, like I said in my previous vlog, it would be best if you guys left at night because your body clock, of course, tells you that you should be sleeping at night. And then uh, we arrived in the morning. So although it's a long ride, at least your body clock is just, you know, it, it, somehow it still feels it's normal because you arrive in the morning there. I, I don't know if that makes sense or not. You know, it was, okay, I'll be honest. It was uncomfortable, of course, because we're not used to, you know, sleeping sitting down but it was okay it was a great ride um you know i just slept through the whole ride there was food given i think three times three times or twice only but yeah the next thing you know you're you know you're about to land so we got there at around what time was it five five a.m uh, no five thirty a.m istanbul time so i didn't actually change the time on my watch uh, just to see how long it would really take and it took exactly 12 12 hours to get to turkey and then once we got to turkey our layover was only since we were delayed an hour our layover was supposedly three hours but since there was a delay of an hour it, it was only two hours which was fine then after that um we were about to board the plane to naples um when the i guess this is where I was a little nervous because when we were about to board the plane, you know, there were like the Turkish people who work at the airport, they are assisting and checking your boarding pass. So um, when it was my turn, she looked at my passport and she asked, 
um, why don't you have, uh, wait, what was her question? She asked, do you have a return ticket? And I said, no. And then she's like, why? And I'm like, uh, on my pa on my passport, my visa, it says a tourist familiar. And then the girl next to her also working there, she says, oh, they started speaking the language, so I didn't understand. But I kind of thought that they were saying that, yeah, if it's familiar, it's, uh, it's fine, blah, 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 blah. So yeah, they let me through. But it was funny because like, hello, at the immigration in the Philippines, they didn't even ask for any proof or anything. Now you're asking me all this. And first of all, Turkey is not my destination. So just let me through. <laughs> it was it was quite funny, but I was kind of nervous. But like I said, if you know that you're not going to do anything illegal in Italy, then it's fine. Just go, just go through it and just tell them honestly um, and truthfully. Plane ride from Turkey to Naples took around two hours. And the next thing I know, my feet has landed in Italy. Does that make sense? No, my feet has finally touched Italy and I could not, honestly, I could not believe it that I am now in Italy. I still can't believe it. I still can't believe that I'm here. And um, so how am I liking it so far? So far, it's been amazing. Although I haven't been to a lot because my husband is already working, but we went to somewhere yesterday. It's called Vico Esconce. I don't know if that's right, but... um. We went there, it was great, it was by the coast. And right now it's 10 a.m. Um, it's really hot outside, if you guys can see. And yeah, so um, one thing I noticed here the first day, so we arrived on Sunday morning. Uh, we took a little nap around 2 p.m. And I woke up around seven uh, because we were gonna have a little family reunion. And it was 7.30 actually, I woke up and I looked outside and outside looks exactly like it is right now, 7.30 p.m. And I was like, what the, what the heck? And it was, it was, it's something that, you know, I really, really need to adjust to because the days here are so much longer, like 7 p.m. and the sun is still out. The sun sets at around 8.30 p.m. That's when it gets a little bit darker. So how did we deal with jet lag? Um, to be honest, we didn't have any jet lag. Pretty amazing, huh? The body clock as well, we didn't have any problem with the body clock. I don't know why everything has just been so smooth for us. Though, okay, fine. On the first day, yeah, we were a little tired. Eyes felt really, really heavy, but I think that's normal. I mean, we just got off a 12 hour flight. It was great. Um, right now, we're doing great. So how is the weather here? The weather here is actually really nice. The sun is out um, most of the time. Actually, it's been out. So, um, you know, you don't actually really feel the heat. I haven't actually sweated here, not even once. I don't know why. <laughs> the sun is out, it's really windy, and it's really fresh outside. It's like baggy type, baggy type of weather, and I love it. And actually, it's not good because that's how you can get really dark easily. Here, people actually like tan. Um, they want to get as tan as possible. So I guess I belong here. <laughs> I'll, I'll show you guys around. Uh, hopefully, not right now though. I'm a little shy to go out with my phone, just holding it. But just give me some time um, to, you know, just to get used to things. But um, yeah, I'll, I'll be able to show you guys around. That is mainly about it. Um, I just wanted to update you guys that I made it safe and sound here. And if you guys have any questions, go ahead and, you know, just go ahead and reach me out through my Facebook page and I'll be more than happy to answer you guys. So that's it for me. Um, I hope you guys have an awesome day ahead and thank you for watching once again.